and go to places where people are already visiting and just the viral nature of Facebook means you can launch something without having actually launched the website. So I kind of, well we were talking about doing this but I thought we just need to go ahead and actually launch our Facebook group um, just to kick start the whole thing. So we did it and just by bringing in a lot of people on board as officers, trying to set it up quite virally, we started getting quite a lot of people joining and got sort of over a thousand people fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, these were just pictures of Twitter and things like that, which is stuck on my Mac. Um, we were also working behind the scenes, just talking to a lot of different stakeholders involved. And I think the fact that we pitched it extremely neutrally, which is ultimately what we were, what the core of us wanted to be, um, meant that we could literally go to people like the, the, um, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office running the London Summit website tell them about what we're doing. They didn't feel that we had an agenda that we were trying to push. And they gave us a page on the London Summit website. We, I interviewed Lord Malik Brown. You may have seen him during the coverage. He was one of the main foreign office ministers behind the G20 Summit. And he gave encouragement to We20. Um, so we had our own YouTube channel and did a kind of viral and had an introduction on there. And it seemed to work quite well. Just another platform for people to find out what was going on.